Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. Oh, it's a little bit cursed. I, oh, oh bless. G'day everyone and welcome back to this week's video. This week is a return of the widely requested series, rating your first fursuits. Um, I did a video last year rating your first fursuit creations and it, um, it did well, uh, to say the least. So, as any good YouTube content creator would do, we are here to try to recreate the magic and capitalize the hell out of it. So, I put another call out post on Twitter asking you to send me your first fursuit and uh, I got a, just a few, <laughs> just a few. Uh, so I had the wonderful task of whittling them down to about 15 to do today. And as always, in honor of the fact that my first fursuit wasn't anything flash either, uh, we're gonna be rating these fursuits on a scale of Dorito Moomins out of 10, ooh. As my first fursuit uh, looks like a Moomin with a Dorito on its nose. So, uh, let's get uh, right on into it. So first up, we have Buckle with their Angel Dragon fursuit. Yeah, look, it's, it's like, it's got, it's got big first fursuit energy. Is that a thing? Big first fursuit energy? Yeah, they always have like this kind of scruffy look, but it's not bad. I mean, it's better than Dorito Moomin. Like, look at this comparison. So much better. So I'm gonna rate this one four Dorito Moomins out of 10. And just so you know, one is like, oh dear, what, what the f that? Five is, that's a fursuit, indeed. And 10 is f off, that's God tier. So, <laughs> just so we're clear. So, uh, uh, next up we have this beauty from Stella Luna Fur, who says, my first suit, I made it in 2013. I realized later that I actually hadn't seen a fursuit in person before making this. Just watched a whole bunch of how to's on YouTube. I mean, that's 100% exactly how I made Dorito movement. I'd never seen a fursuit in person before. So, but look at it. Oh I, oh, I have such a soft spot for fursuits that were made like pre-2015. And again, I'm really sorry. I can't roast. I don't like saying mean things about people. It's just not nice. I like the beard. I don't think it's meant to be a beard, but just look at it. It's magnificent. So I'm going to rate this one uh, two Dorito movements out of 10, except you get bonus points for beard. Beard points. Beard points. Next up, we have this duchy from Lily Moon Suits, who says the first suit I ever made was a duchy, a personal suit in 2018. And like, you look at this and you're like, oh my God. I, it makes me feel really bad about my first fursuit when I see people coming up with awesome stuff like this. But it is good. It is a good first fursuit. I mean, look at that digi. Mine wasn't nearly that good. I actually really dig the complex tail markings on this one. Ask me to have done that. When I first started, I would have just cried. And I did. When I first started making fursuits, I would sit at my, I remember sitting at my sewing machine in my bedroom and just crying because no matter how many times I made a pair of hand paws, they just wouldn't fit. And I couldn't figure out why this wasn't working. But look at this, natural talent right here. Some of us have it. Lily Moons is one of them. Bless, eight out of 10 Dorito Moons. Okay, this next absolute beauty is from Caramel Claws. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Look, I had to I had to go through and pick some of the ones that just made me chuckle. This is one of them. Cheers to my 2011 fursuit. More context behind the suit. The head was made off a ski mask. I used pieces of foam from my friend's old couch for the muzzle and ears. The eyes were cardboard coated with hot glue. Attempt at uh, resin eyes. See, back then, you kids today won't understand. But we didn't necessarily have very good fursuit tutorials. That's why Dorito Moomin ended up the way she did. But, you know, like this is what happens. We had to figure stuff out for ourselves. Uh, I'm gonna give that one Dorito Moomin out of 10, um, just simply because big first fursuit energy, massive first fursuit energy. Okay, this next one is a kimono head from Glitch. I have actually seen this fursuit head in person and it is quite well made considering. He says, I did the head on my boy. It took a lot of practice and help, but I wanna make 
V2, Amazing Body and Pause by Honey Bear Art. That's the thing is if you keep redoing it and you keep learning and keep retrying, you can come out with something really, really good. You guys are really lucky today because you have so much resources at your disposal to actually be able to do this. I love this suit so much. It's getting seven Dorito <laughs> Minions out of 10. Plus one for kimono because I'm biased. This one is from Mr. Matchies. First suit I ever made sold for $50 and it was my mum's profile picture for over a month. Oh, I love like the flat eyes that don't quite sit in the head correctly. Ah, oh, it, it warms my heart. We all start somewhere and it's kind of touching to see every where everybody's kind of come from. Yeah, the felt tongue with like the seams. And I just love when parents are really supportive and like have it as their profile picture and stuff, not really knowing much about the community. It's just pure. This one gets three Dom Dorito Moomins out of 10, but plus one mother point because mothers rock. Hey there, I'm just pausing the video to let you know that if you haven't subscribed yet, please do down below and click that bell because I make lots of different fursuit making content, lots of different tutorials and, and I think you'd really enjoy it. So if you'd like to join us, join the Blair Palmy, press the subscribe button. Back to the video. All right, next up we have Bamboo Saber from Spirit Panda Creations. Here she is, the very first bamboo made in 2015. She's not wearable, lol. I don't know, look, she looks good, dude. She looks good. Like the eyes are a little bit probably high up, but like the shave is neat and I adore Bamboo as a character. I'm gonna give Bamboo five Dorito Moomins out of 10 because it's a fursuit, it looks good. It's a fursuit. And uh, in case you guys didn't know, Spirit Panda is now creating God tier works. So please go follow them if you haven't already. Okay, this one comes from Jinx over on Patreon. This is my first bean. Feel free to roast him as much as you like. My machine was broken when I made him, so I made the silly decision to hand sew his head and paws. Nothing wrong with that in my opinion. I used to do exactly the same for both my heads and paws. There is tongue for days. And we've got the triangle ears. The return of the triangle ears. And it looks like it's good. It's good. It's a good first fursuit. Um, I'm gonna give Jigs four Dorito Moomins out of 10. This one is from Disrep Cloven, who says, laughs maniacally, eh -eh -eh. it's finally my time to shine. This was made of tinfoil and paper mache. Everything is sculpted with tinfoil and there's no mouth. So its nickname is e Easy Bake Oven. And yes, it crinkles. The fur is also glued. Oh God. Oh no, he's. Look, look. I also love the fact that it crinkles. I want to hear it. I want I want an audio clip of this. <laughs> it does get the two out of 10 Dorito movements, but you do get plus one for crinkle. Take that, no, de delete that phrase that I just said from the entire internet. Okay, this one is from Aiden on Patreon. He sent me this nightmare fuel. <laughs> I said the best part is the painting the furring is so awkward. Um, honestly, I'm assuming if you made this skull base, then that's really impressive. If you bought that skull base, also really impressive. The furring isn't as bad as you think. You get five out of 10 Dorito Moomins, but plus two for Nightmare Fuel, because that, that cat skull's a bit creepy. This next one comes from Max slash Bailey. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, my first ever fursuit head, it still gives me nightmares. I mean, look at those LSD eyes. I wanna know what you used for that. I've never seen a material that does that. Oh, it's a little bit cursed. I, oh, oh bless. Also, what's that nose made out of? I wanna know, what, what is it made of? Look at it. It's like, it looks like one of those like lids for like one of the lip glosses that you got as a kid. That's a crispy one out of 10, but um, plus one for the trippy LSD eyes that I want to know what kind of material that was made of. This next one is from Ryu. Uh, it says, go ham on their griffin fursuit. Uh, the munted beak honestly did brave choice um, using fleece on a beak for the first time that you've made a fursuit. I can't use fleece, dude. You can see like little threads hanging out here and there. And the eyes are like slightly off center. Oh, and the triangle ears, plus two triangle ears. So you also get a one out of 10 Dorito Moomins. Oh, I love these cursed babies. Oh, I have like a weird protectiveness for them. Like I want to kind of hug them and say, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. We have this head from Jaws and Paws. And there we go, look, triangle ears, Ferry Illuminati confirmed. Not only did they include that, but they also included this, which was made 12 months later. What, what happened here? What did you take? Is this some kind of like 
fursuit making sorcery? What kind of devil did you make a deal with to get this in 12 months? I want to know and I want some. Give it to me, Give, hook me up with your deal. What happened? How? What is this? Um, but in terms of your first fursuit heads, you do have the trademark triangle ears and I can see a little bit of wrinkles in the shave, which is also, I mean, happens to the best of us, but uh, that's also very, very good first fursuit trademark. Um, they say 2019, oh no, it's two years. It's two years difference, two years difference. Not, I thought it was 12 months and I was like, what? Um, so I'm gonna rate your first fursuit um, five out of 10, but plus 100 for sorcery. Absolute magician, sorcery. <laughs> Witchcraft. Oh. We have Neody who goes, this, this is really interesting. Like, it looks good. It's unique. It's got the LED eyes. Like, Lord save me if you ever ask me to do LED eyes. It's not happening. I hate working with electronics. It sucks. It looks like a fuzz butt fursuit space, just given the mouth, but, and the eye shape. I'm not 100%, but I think that what it might be. If it's not, then wow, power to you. But I'm going to rate this guy seven <laughs> Dorito movements out of ten just for individuality and how nice it looks. Um, but you do get uh, bonus LED points. Bonus LED points. And finally, because apparently these videos always must finish off with a fuck off fursuit, we have Waldrick who shares this beautiful thing. And I have seen this in person. They rocked up at my dealer's den table once and I was like, what is this? This is beautiful. I am astounded. He says, posting on behalf of my mum who doesn't have Twitter yet, this was her first full suit made. Creator name is Dragon Mountain Creations, and there's a link to their Facebook there. Yeah, no, this fursuit is absolute witchcraft. Um, I have seen this, and all of those feathers move individually of one another. They're all individually, like, painted, and it's just stunning to look at. Like, there are some inconsistencies in the head that are, is the trademark of a newer maker, like, the, the shape isn't as clean as it, but it's, it's just stunning. Visually, it's beautiful. And yeah, look, this just gets a 10 out of 10 pack of Dorito movements out of 10, because... Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> and that concludes volume two of rating your first fursuits. What did you guys think of the fursuits in this video today? I think there's some crazy talented people out there. And you know what? We all start somewhere and it's important to acknowledge where we came from. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye now.